Well, greetings, friends, and welcome back. I'm Commander Beardless, that's Commander Headless, and we're parked on the other side of the moon to give you a look at the Alliance Chieftain, the third of the three Alliance ships. Let's get into it. Right, so as promised, here we are on the other side of the moon. You can even see the end of the Earthrise over there. And we'll have a bit of a look at the moon in a second. You can see everything is dark at the moment, uh, which would be kind of what it would look like if this ship was parked. But it's only because we're in Hollow Me. So as you know, some of the times in Hollow Me, things get a bit weird. And um, well, we have Commander Head Full there, Commander Head Liss sitting on a, well, backwards rotated and dramatically dropped uh, commander chair, which looks entirely bizarre. Uh, but there you have it. And we've had a look at the commander in this position before, I think with the, well, with the first Alliance ship, because uh, I did my commander um, sizing video using that ship. And in this case, you can see that there is no commander in the chair at the front, because that'd just be extra weird. So on first impressions, you can see that in the interior of the Alliance Chieftain is pretty much the same as the other Alliance ships, but regardless, there are some subtle differences we'll have a look at. And if you haven't seen some of those videos, then obviously you need to see this one as well. There's our moon. Uh, we're still parked pretty far away from it. This is as close as the game lets us get, which is a bit unfortunate. And this is also the far side of the moon with um, more craters and different features than what we're used to seeing with the classic man in the moon um, face. I suppose, depending on uh, if you're the right way up or upside down, depending on which hemisphere you're in. So we'll start up here as always with the front hollow projector. Now this one is actually substantially large. It is probably 60 centimeters in diameter, so probably two feet, and sat on a square projector console. Uh, the projection of the Alliance Chieftain here is about the size of a dinner plate. You could definitely grab the thing and fly it around. And there is the size of the moon ball in this case, again, about the size of a handball shape. And then we have our low res radar, which I don't think I've actually had a super close up look before, but as you can see, it is quite low res, but that dot does move around as you're aiming towards, or pointing the ship towards the thing that you're aiming at, I should say. The rest of the finish is the standard carbon fiber sort of finish and it looks quite nice and the same as the other Alliance ships. And if we walk out towards the front you can see the same sort of storage area that we would normally find. I know it's not for storage but it always seems to me like you should be throwing luggage in there or something. And then the rest of the console which comes out with its little wings raised on the edges. And saying hello to Commander Headless, we can see that she's mounted in the standard non-movable configuration. And in this seat, we can actually see some sort of struts that I don't think I've seen before. Hang on, let me shove my head in there. Right, well, that's interesting. So it's like a twin sort of strut system that holds the chair up. And I don't know whether I've just not seen this before or whether this is in fact a different configuration chair than what we're used to. Hmm, interesting. And from the back here, you can see there's, again, that sort of strut kind of arm that's lifted the whole chair up into the air a little bit. I could have sworn that this angle normally sits flush on the plinth, that this is an extra distance. I might be going insane. You can also see here that the co-pilot is similarly raised uh, with that same strut system and about the same height. Okay, now I'm just really concerned that I'm losing my mind and I've just not seen that before. Okay, interesting. Around the sides of the Commander, we have our standard, standard uh, holo projected screens. This one is, again, probably about your 35-inch uh, normal TV monitor. This one over here is probably a 17-inch laptop screen. Um, this one over here, I would say, is about the same. And this one, again, is a 34-inch kind of holo projected laptop or um, desktop kind of screen as well. Now, around the edges, we have these sort of fairly standard lake on screens by now. They do have some seemingly unique things based on the Alliance Chieftain. Uh, perhaps not on this screen, perhaps on some others. Other than that, we have these little doohickeys on the side, which really looks like you need to plug something into them, but the whole thing is kind of skewed in a rhomboid kind of shape. Down here we have a very small screen showing a thing. Looks like a circuitry diagram or something similar, but seems like it's not particularly useful. And there's our wonky bar graph. The floor in the Alliance Chieftain is made of this grid pattern with squares and then you can see the old hexagonal pattern down there with some pipes running through which all look pretty cool. 
and very shiny. Someone's obviously polished this ship recently. Over here we have our standard canister of compressed gas that we have seen in the other, other lines ships and a again brand new polished yellow handle which is <laughs> incredibly shiny and never been touched so this could be a ship that's entirely brand new off the uh, production line uh, but also yeah, maybe just a graphical glitch and it should be dirty. Out the window there you can see the front side of the main engine stack which is pretty awesome looks like there's a bit of weird graphical stuff going on there and then that is not a sprite that shoots out the front that is an actual volumetric uh, jet of gas as the ship slows down so that's kind of cool. You can see some of the lights there around the side and not a great deal else but my head is shoved through the glass at this point so that'd be fairly unhealthy for me. Down here we can see a uh, do not remove probably fire extinguisher looks like certainly but painted black so obviously in contravention to all health and safety regulations and then a yellow now conforming to health and safety regulations a yellow uh, handle there for the steps as my tracking kills itself. Moving further back then, we have this standard, uh, fairly standard, yellow handled, uh, there's a lot of yellow accents in here, this is the thing I'm noticing with this ship that is different. Uh, this yellow handled box, which is empty as per normal, and another couple of yellow grab handles there as you go up the stairs, which I'm currently knee deep in. Up the top there, you can see a few more readouts, which we'll try and get closer to, and then the single co-pilot's chair here behind the pilot themselves. Now if we actually pop ourselves out the front of the ship and look at the front bumper, uh, which is substantially large, it kind of starts about there, then you have the flat top, I'm on a bit of angle which is why I'm heading down to the other end of it here, and then you have the start of the cockpit. But you can also see around the side there more of the low res graf graphic, blah, blah, more of the low res graphical issues on those side engines where you can see that wraparound ultra low texture that's just sitting there as a placeholder the, well, frontier assuming that you can't actually get out there to see it. And the same deal on the other side as well. But you can see some of the little features on the side there, including this vent, uh, which has a nice striation to it. And if we shove our head through it, uh, you can see it sort of comes to the inside of the ship or perhaps through some conduits going down the back there. Obviously, is we're on the inside of that panel there. So I'm not sure where that vent's supposed to go. I... Uh, <laughs> Well, actually it doesn't make any sense because if you're in atmospheric flight, that's the only time that you could actually get air into it. And uh, otherwise you'd be just getting the vacuum of space into the cockpit, which again, possibly unhealthy. You can also see there the hard point up the top is totally broken with the, uh, with the uh, lids kind of going in all sorts of weird directions. And if we deploy the hard point, you can see that it obviously just folds out strangely sideways rather than how it's supposed to open. But again, this is an interior versus exterior uh, model, and we are looking at the outside of the interior model, hence why it's all janky. However, this point does let us answer the age-old question of what that floating thing in the ceiling is. So have a look at that front hard point as it comes down, and I'll move forward, and watch what happens to the ceiling there, right in the center of those two consoles, there we are. So the bottom of the hard point kind of comes through the ceiling and then the hard point itself actually disappears here. If I deploy it again, you can see it retract. So probably those floating things that I have thought for some time that are tables are actually the bottoms of hard points, which, um, yeah, between that and the landing gear issues, <laughs> there's a few graphical glitches going on in the cockpit itself. So as you've seen before, if we deploy the landing gear from this position, you'll probably see them enter in. Yeah, there we go, through the rear of the cockpit there. Uh, yes, which is again, a bit of a shame. Now here we are at the rear of the ship and you have seen this area in both the other Alliance ships, which is the sides of the, effectively what is an elevator in the middle there. And you can see that again, unfortunately, there are no doors or anywhere to go down the back there. Some more nicely, highly polished, brand new painted yellow handles <laughs> and that's kind of it for this area we have seen this bit before there's probably not much point going over these areas in minute detail but the one thing that's interesting is that the camera allows me to go straight through, through the floor over here which uh, is entirely nauseating but it gives us a nice view of the cargo scoop and the cargo uh, bay effectively area which is kind of cool and the landing gear that's sitting on top of it you can see as it deploys it kind of clips both through 
the side corridors there as well as the cargo scoop itself which is a little unfortunate but you can see the uh oh, this is so bizarre i'm walking inside the ship here so excuse me while i nearly try and throw up here um you can see the legs there are your classic fist shape so if we retract those you'll see them come back to a fist ball uh, and unfortunately yeah, clip through the cargo scoop a little bit while we're here of course we can also see the front hard point which is kind of cool to see from this direction and uh, we can't see through the sides of the hard point but you can certainly see it deploy there and out it comes retracting the landing gear there you can see as they come back up together and smash back into each other we have seen that view before from the inside of the door up there and you can see there the cargo scoop deploying which again we've seen before but looks really cool from this angle where we're really nice and close to the top of the scoop itself and it looks really cool that uh, sort of opens up like a little well literally like a scoop and from this point we can just about see a little bit of more detail into it if I just get into the corner here might be able to shove my head into the cargo scoop there we go <laughs> sit here with the lamp you can see there the bulkheads as well as the floor of the cargo scoop there with its hexagonal pattern and uh, then of course the cargo scoop itself deploying on those couple of struts which looks very cool uh, you could do a space jump from that scoop definitely probably not recommended the view from the co-pilot seat is nice and open as you can see there you can see right out the front of the cockpit there a little bit of the overhead bulkhead showing at the top of the window there but other than that a fairly unobstructed view of the exterior which is really kind of cool well there we are friends i hope you've enjoyed that look at the alliance chieftain now whilst you might argue that yes the interiors are kind of the same in all the different alliance ships i hope that i've been able to give you some different angles and let you know a little bit more about the scoop and various other bits and bobs within all ships not just the alliance ships well thank you very much for watching as always and i'll see you in the black fly safe commanders mm -hmm.